All right, I have to spend a couple of days concentrate on uh, glazing and um, decorating my pieces. And now they are ready to go into the kiln and uh, just make a record before uh, and then I compare after, before and after. Right, everything is loaded up and uh, ready to go. Okay, keep the fingers crossed. All right, I was monitoring inside my house and uh, the uh, firing just completed. I went up to uh, 23, 25 degrees. And the whole the temperature, uh, I did peak temperature around uh, 12 minutes, 12 minutes. And it took me about uh, 11 hours to finish. The uh, program is a medium uh, glaze fire. It's the uh, manufacturer set up uh, firing schedule. And I fired to content, content. But uh, usually uh, from my past experience, the uh, Kong 11 is done. So, and that's the uh, temperature I'm looking for. So that's the fire just got finished and just coming out to uh, check the uh, temperature. Okay, so uh, I will unload the kiln tomorrow and uh, see how it goes. Right now the time is 7 p.m. Uh, it's been cooling for eight hours and uh, the uh, temperature is 585, 585 degrees and uh, I'm cracking the kiln open a little bit and I get a sneak peek inside uh, looks good Still a little bit too hot to unload it, so I will probably wait till uh, tomorrow morning to do that. All right, um, I'm ready to unload the kiln. Uh, it's been drying for overnight. The uh, temperature now is 68 degrees. So overall looks okay, but the uh, suburban uh, the temperature is still a little bit uh, on the uh, lower side. Uh, I would prefer a little bit uh, hotter. So that's the uh, the ball with the uh, black slip and the chattering texture. This one is fine. The same way, looks okay. And also you see here, this is the uh, cookies that uh, the piece has been sitting on the cookies. So they uh, shrink more evenly. And also to, uh, in case the glaze is turned on uh, the count shelf, I have a protection. And this is uh, uh, reusable, so uh, can fire it a couple times. The uh, sodium silicate cover jar. And I fire the lid together with the body and uh, with the aluminum hydrate brush in between. So it's very easy to separate. And mark two different colors. The uh, teapot is a little bit uh, under fire, the temperature, the glaze is still uh, got the orange peel uh, surface, so I will probably refire it, but uh, the lid is easy to separate.
right? The uh, cover jar, a little uh, stuck. Um, I will try to use a piece of uh, wood uh, to tap it and see if I can open it. And the ice sprinkle, uh, it, it might be a better idea to brush the can wash, but uh, uh, I'm just lazy. So I just sprinkled the element hydrate on top of the uh, can shelf. So I did a demo on that uh, lidded cover jar, right? So it's easy to separate and it looks good. So another uh, cover jar with the uh, black slip and uh, just brush the uh, red, red and stand over. And this one looks good too. Another cover jar. Right, some uh, other glitch that I'm doing some experiment on it. Uh, not the, the color I like. Um, here's the uh, the cone. So just about half halfway. Uh, this about uh, this is cone eleven. So. All right, so that's it. All right, so that's all I have. Uh, the whole kiln. Uh, they are mostly functional wear. Uh, bowls, mugs, teapots, cover jars. Some of them are looking good, but some of them uh, I still uh, want to be, uh, I want to refire them because the, uh, the uh, surface is not as smooth as I expected. Uh, I should have a hold the temperature maybe a little bit longer. Uh, I told you that I hold about 12 minutes. Maybe uh, the peak temperature I will hold maybe 20. 20 more minutes, 20 minutes, so that uh, the grease mature more 
and uh, not getting the uh, orange peel skin texture but uh, overall it's it's quite uh, quite nice all right so that's the uh, whole process before fire and after so to, to just show you the result and uh, also i did the uh, demonstration on glazing part and uh, so uh, you will see the uh, result Alright, thanks for watching.